Hey guys, I'm the voice of Dog, and welcome to Star Tropics 2, Zoda's Revenge. Um, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different in this LP, since the game is a, a bit different from the original. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it, because it's a fun game to play, and it's a pretty good challenge, but it's not the same kind of action puzzle adventure game the original was. It's really more of an action game, full-on action, uh, with some new mechanics that kind of... Uh, they sort of break the, the system from the previous game. Uh, the world is no longer on a grid system, which changes everything. It's now an eight-way movement. Uh, you'll see quickly how they kind of screwed that up. Uh, so I said I'm going to do things I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to be having guests in this LP, because I'll probably have less mechanics to talk about. And this game is silly as all hell, so I'll want people to experience it firsthand and have us make fun of it, basically. I think it'll be pretty fun, but uh, if you think I need to be more informative, then, then let me know. I'll go into more detail, or I'll do some segments without, uh, without guests, and uh, well, we'll make it work either way. So that's our backstory. Let's get started and register our name. There we go. And let's begin chapter zero. But well, don't no, chapter one. Hey, Mike. It hasn't really been that long, but good to see you again. Of course we do. We went on a huge adventure to go save him. So, Micah apparently knows how to speak to us with her mind, which is sort of cool. She's gonna pop in our head now and again to tell us some things about the story. She had a tendency to just leave us strange clues and really not answer any of our questions. Really leave us with more than we had to begin with. Oh, hey, Dr. J. Yes, you know, we can see you're very busy. You don't have to keep saying it to yourself. <laughs> so we always summarize our story. Blah, blah, aircon, blah, cat. What could that phrase mean? Um... You just reversed it. Does that... No. Help us out here. Um... Oh! It's starting to fall into place now. It's one of those phrases that's the same backwards as forwards. In fact, both of those phrases are the same backwards as forwards. Is he? Okay, let's let's read the cipher. Those are your magic words. The lyrics from Surfin' Bird are the magic words. Well, that's not good. Looks like we triggered something. And Mike falls into a dimensional vortex. Where could we end up? And welcome to a new time period. We picked some people up through the time stream. Who are you guys? Am I all alone? It's like being in a sci-fi movie! <laughs> My god! With me, I have Killer MC and a raving loon. Yo. Welcome to the Ice Ages. This is Star Tropics 2. 
<laughs> we start out with no weapons, and we're going to get into these random dungeons, which are not very exciting. So, um... Hardly at well, that was exciting. You fell down a hole. Yes. It's just like E.T. So, this is the new action system, where we have eight-way movement and eight-way shooting, but I can't really shoot anything right now. And we can spin, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Suddenly, Just Mike like Jones e. picks up all these moves. <laughs> and we have rocks. And you'd think that Mike Jones would be great at throwing rocks, you know, pit, you know pitching and all that stuff, but he can throw them about three feet in front of him. They're just really huh. awkwardly shaped is all. I guess. <laughs> but they're good enough to kill wild boars, so... Alright, go Mike. Alright, dungeon Super completed. Subterranean boar. You can kill monsters with a bat, but he can't throw a rock? Nope. God damn. So the idea is to walk through this, this patch of snow until we find our way through, and this is a carbon copy of the last area we were yeah, in. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Some of them are different. Uh... Just not a very inspired area of levels. But the next ones are definitely a lot better. It's a serviceable introduction to basic mechanics. Yeah, it's just kind of scary because they don't give you, you know, it's like, do I get my yo yo back? And the answer is no, you don't. But. Oh, and for a third time, I don't know why I'm bothering to pick up the rocks, I don't need them. <laughs> yeah, you could probably just jump around them. Yep. Like you just did. Like I just did. <laughs> We, we bear no hostility to the kingdom of the swine. <laughs> How yeah. many times have you watched this video, MC? Dude, what? Was I supposed to pre-screen this? Yes. Yes, you should have oh, watched that already. God. Let's go talk to, to the indigenous people here. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. So, Star Tropics 2 is very silly. And it has very little reverence for the time periods it represents. It has that nice 90s Saturday morning cartoon ad approach to history. Yeah, pretty much that. That's one fat horse. <laughs> Look, they were. It's like the first painting, alright? I think this lady is calling you fat. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of my son, you fat. You're sort of weird, you know, with your clothing that covers your entire body. That's crazy. Yeah, you can tell it's the Ice Age because no one is wearing sleeves. <laughs> Okay, so here's our first weapon, is, a, is an axe, which is kind of not really our, our scene, but, you know. A well-armed yeah. tribe is a we polite tribe. We Three axes yeah. for everyone. We Courtesy identify is the best form of currency. We identify as being cavemen. I, I guess that wasn't a thing back then. They didn't have any concept of, of not fully cooked meat. I mean, if you're gonna have the meat raw, why even bother lighting the fire? It's just yeah. wasteful. Exactly. <laughs> well, it is very cold. It is the Ice Age. Picasso. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very abstract work he's got there. It's just shapes. Yeah, peace sign, peace <clears throat> sign, triangle, square, peace sign. And I pause briefly just to write this down because it is important. Oh, I thought you were just admiring the art. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, shapes are very... Um... Uh, we see here mankind's first editorial cartoon. Ha <laughs> 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 take that, wild boars. The circle represents dead. <laughs> Food and shelter. Yeah, those are the hot topics of today's life. How do they know our name? Because you are the one from Prophecy. We, we are the Southpaw Reliever. God damn it, history. <laughs> Maybe you're actually being teleported into a series of historic theme parks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, oh yeah, Mike Jones, how you doing? I don't know why I'm Not supposed to, to break character, would get the manager mad at me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now to finally begin the game proper with an actual level. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. Enough silliness. Let's get to the killing. I can't wait, because I pre-screened all of this. Exactly. Yes, we did. They're making sure we saw the painting. Making sure you grabbed a weapon. So, um... One thing I can say about this game is that it's a lot more action-y, a lot less puzzly, and... We have infinite throwing axes, which is kind of interesting. 
a weak throwing arm. I know, right? You'd think he'd be able to get that a little further out there, but whatever. It's got this nice rocking dungeon tune to uh, really hammer home the change in tone from the first game. Yeah, the, the game's got good music, and it's got a pretty wide variety of dungeon music, yeah. which I really like. Also, there are, are a number of things that make the game a lot harder to control, besides the eight-way movement. Um, you can change your direction in midair, which will result in a lot of unnecessary deaths for me. Uh, for example, if you try to jump over a pit and change your direction in any way, you won't make it. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, it's like they want you to just kill yourself all the time. They want to teach you to, uh, you know, commit to your decisions. <laughs> but they give me the, ch they give you the free will to to not commit, and that's when they punish you. It's sort of weird. They give you so much more freedom of movement, and then they do that kind of shit. Yep. Welcome to the NES. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you can jump over one and a half tiles. I'm not making this up. Hmm? Oh, damn it! One and a half. One and a half. Yeah, but you cannot. Kinda... And diagonals are extremely like hazardous, so you kind of. Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Put it this way: if there's a diagonal and you have any doubts as to whether or not you can make it, don't try to jump it. That's pretty much my rule of thumb. Mike is new to this whole diagonal concept. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with the dead. there's a lot of weird new stuff. I mean. His alien friend now talks to him in his head, just invades his mind space, which can't be a good thing. Hmm. Oh, oh, come bears. on. Bears! Yeah, and those guys do quite Gotta a bit of damage. Be careful with bears! I mean, they're slow as hell, but you have no range, so you kind of try to get in there, and then that happens. Oh, wow, that, that beeping is annoying. I will attempt to get rid of that as soon as possible. <laughs> It's not even, like, a steady beat, either. It's just... Then, <laughs> the fact oh, that moment. any oh. other... Oh, 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 you're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the wounded beeping is compounded by the fact that any other sound effect interrupts it and resets it. <laughs> so if you're wounded, say, while fighting a big fuck-off monster, you need to be hitting over and over again. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear it every time you fire a weapon. And that's so weird. Usually, like, the NES just doesn't play it, and they won't Look. reset the sound. No, the Look beeping must take tiny precedent. platforms taunting you. You must make Like, oh, I bet you know. want to skip those enemies, huh? Come at me. Try me. Oh, man, this... I know the golden bear. Oh, let's just run. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> There's three of them now. Yeah, they We did. warned you about the gold bears. <laughs> oh, also, I lost my potion when I died, so I'm awesome. Life is beautiful. Let's <laughs> The lack thereof. It's poetic in a way. Yeah, it's very good that we can find, you know, glass jars full of medicine back in the Ice Age. Oh? Uh, well, I definitely don't know what to do now. I recall seeing something like this before. So, debt. 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 <laughs> uh, by the way, any wrong turn will put you at the beginning of the dungeon. Shelter. Yay. <laughs> so, Ooh. yeah, I definitely wrote it down. I did not want to screw this up. Dead? And... Nope, oh, one more. This is kind of like the extent of the puzzles in Star Tropics 2. They really kind of got rid of those, which is a shame because Star Tropics 1 was kind of fun that way. And on occasion, they'd have some sort of riddle for you to solve. Yeah. This one, you just need pen and paper, and there you go. And axes. An endless yeah. supply of stone axes. Yep. Don't dunk the paper in water, it will do nothing but make it soggy. Just don't eat the paper, either. Keep it don't till eat the, the axe, either. <laughs> Keep it till the end of the game. Okay, here's the first boss. This is uh, Yum Yum. Uh, if you kill the boar that he's eating, he gets really pissed off and ends up having double speed and double the firing rate. It makes a it terrible really acid friend. reflux at you. <laughs> it makes it really hard to beat him. Why so, would you kill his friend? Well, he, he, if you just let him eat it, you'll can get a bunch of free shots on him. And I decide to attempt to do it the hard way to show off, but it's not going Keyword, so well. attempt. <laughs> um, yeah. So... Yum Yum, when he's 
in pissed off mode is extremely tough. Alright, somebody grab Yum Yum with an open mouth and make that into a get out smiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to try it again the correct way, but I'm going to let him finish his, his meal first. Okay, just ignore the axes that are digging their way into your skin. You'll never leave me now, boyfriend. Now you're inside me always. <laughs> Prehistoric Garfield here. So this game has some pretty good bosses, but this guy's kind of boring, I'll admit. Everyone after this is pretty good, though. He also looks so tired. <laughs> oh, what's going on? I want to eat. I guess I'll belch at you or something. I don't know. I don't... Get out of here, kid. This is my cave. I haven't really thought out my attack pattern. What <laughs> am I anyway? Just realized that it left all the skulls piled in the one spot, and now they're in the way. Oh <laughs> my god, I gotta clean this place up. The thing is... Behold, the ancient ancestor of Goon. <laughs> <laughs> Yum Goon. So the thing is, you can't hit him when he's in the back row, which is why it's so hard to beat him when he's in fast mode, because he spends half the time out of your reach. Uh oh, but he's awake now. Oh, I'm exploding! Victory dance. Yeah. yeah, that won't have negative repercussions on the fabric of time at all. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend pops into your head. Okay, Mike, don't touch anything. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm s don't talk to anybody. Don't look at anything. <laughs> You're already probably stopping existing right now. Oh, now your mom has a crush on you. What have you done? <laughs> Yay, the kids weren't eaten after all. They were just really fat. Yeah. Everything turns out okay. Yay, all back to the well. morbidly obese tribe with the fat horse. <laughs> and we've got a thing! Um... We've got a Tetris block? Um... Uh Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> just ha just a thing. Whatever. Moving along. <laughs> um video games. Yeah, right? So now our friend pops into our head. Did what? Not only do you, does she have regular telepathy, but she can talk through time. Wow. Mike has not figured that out yet. <laughs> Mike is just, just so clueless. He looks very annoyed by this. Oh God my damn get it. out of my head. Maybe he can't hear and has to read the text box like the rest of us. So this we have to find awkward. we have to find the magic tetrads. Wait a minute. No, it is. It is a reference to Tetris, isn't it? Yes, it the is. The only other thing that I have found in this strange mythic list. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know end. what it is, it gets a fanfare. And a new place in the inventory. Oh, cool. And it fills me I with was... power. I was just going to murder people with this, but this is cool, too. <laughs> I was going to throw it at people. On giving... Well, back to the Necronomicon. Yep. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> Say the magic words. Pa 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 um pa pa um mau mau. Set. Is that ancient Morse code? What is that? No, it's the lyrics to Surf and Bird. That's what la allows uh. us to travel through time. I'm not kidding. This is radical. Radical. All right, guys. We'll see you next time in another time and place. And for a little preview, here's where we end up. And Killer MC, where are we going to end up? Where are we going? Uh, 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 did, did, did uh, you have the map? Pyramids, pyramids, we're going to pyramids. Oh, uh, you got it. How did you do yes. that? Yes. Las Vegas! <laughs> <laughs> Woo!